welcome to part one of what's gonna be a 10 part little mini series that's hopefully gonna take you from beginner novice on ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate all the way through to being a power user. I'm gonna keep this short and concise and hopefully kind of fun. My name is Alec Watson. I'm a director of photography. I shoot mainly ad campaigns and ACDC is my go-to as a digital asset manager. I'm gonna take you through the reasons why and, and show you my workflow and whether you're like a home hobbyist and all your images are kept on one computer or a laptop, all the way through to whether you're like a working pro and have multiple drives. In my case, I've got a network with a million photos on it. ACDC Ultimate can keep track and handle all of that. And with AI coming in, there's a lot of future proofing. We're gonna run through all of those things. So my goal is to set you up for success. In this episode, we're just gonna do a quick overview. So I've just launched ACDC and your ACDC, when you launch it, apart from the photos, it's probably gonna look a little like this. These menus up the top is where I would normally look. So we have manage mode, media mode, view, develop, edit, and then this little thing with people. I'm gonna take you through those as quickly as I can and make sense of them because that is how we use it. So manage mode, you'll notice over on the left-hand side, it looks a lot like File Explorer. And this is kind of like File Explorer on steroids, if you like. So I could, just like File Explorer, I could click any of these and it will show me the images probably quicker than File Explorer will because they're kept in the database. The other part of that, when I'm clicking on them, if you look at the photos, unlike File Explorer, you'll see some numbers on here. These things are ratings. Over on the right-hand side, if you were to click on it, you might see some information. There's my name, Alec Watson or alecwatson.com. Basically, this is the workings of a database. Now, database is kind of a scary word. I, I don't love the idea of a database. It sounds like something I don't want to do with my photography. But I got to say, I'm going to show you a, the way in which I use this as, as a photographer, as an, an artist. And it makes the database part fairly invisible. This takes care of itself as a database. I'm just kind of a, a user of it, and it works great for me when I use this workflow. So manage mode is kind of the, the, where the machine runs, and people a lot cleverer than me made this, and the people a lot cleverer can probably use it in power ways that I would never even think of, but we're gonna do it as a photographer. Our next mode over is media mode. If I click on media mode, I've just had a bunch of photos pop up. It, it works a lot like my iPhone. Now my iPhone is in chronological order and that's what you're seeing here. Interestingly, up the top, I've got a number five clicked and what that refers to is it selected all my five star photos in my database of a million photos. It's done that really quickly and they are all in chronological order that I could just go ahead and scroll through. In, in the same way, honestly, I could switch this to a two, and now it's gonna find all my two star photos. There we go, it just zipped through and found all my two star photos out of a million photos. That's, that's kind of like a superpower to me. Let me switch back to manage mode a second. Let's switch over to this folder here. This is a, from a recent shoot. I'm gonna show you view mode. So let's take, I want, let's say I wanna take a look at this picture, this picture, and this picture, I'm just holding the control button down, selecting pictures, and I'm gonna click view. View is now going to make me a little short list of those photos. This is basically a photo viewer, and inside the view photo viewer, photos, there we go, I can zoom into my photos, change photos. Pretty simple to understand what view does for my photos. Let's move over to develop. Now develop, we actually have to select the photo. This is where we process photos in our develop. Develop is what's called non-destructive editing. This is an important concept to get and I'm gonna explain it in this overview. Let's say for whatever reason, I probably would not wanna do this, but let's say I wanna black and white and now you should never black and white reds. We'll go into that another time in a completely different thing. Red is kind of skin toned and you don't get striking photos in of reds in black and white uh, in back in the black and white days of filming uh, they would say if it um, stay away from red red looks dead and yeah red's not that striking I probably should have picked a different photo <laughs> to make black and white but there's a reason I chose this okay 
I decided to make this a black and white for no apparent reason at all. If I were to click back to management and go save on that, and then we're looking at that photo, and then sometime down the road, I'm just like, oh man, why did I make that a black and white? It's red, and red makes you look dead in a black and white. I don't want it to be black and white. I could go back to develop mode, and because develop mode is non-destructive, I would go, oh, look at that. I just have to take the saturation back, and then I could resave it. It never actually changed. All I'm ever looking at is a preview, a preview of instructions that ACDC is doing in real time. Develop mode, man, that is super powerful to be able to make all sorts of changes to like thousands and thousands and thousands of photos and it never actually does anything destructive to the photos at all. Your originals stay original. That's amazing. Now let's take this same photo and head over to edit mode. What's the difference between develop and edit? Well, edit is destructive editing, and it's like, oh man, why would I want to be destructive with my photos? Well, there, there, are, there are reasons. So edit is, you've, I mean, we've all heard of Photoshop, right? Edit works like Photoshop. It is a layer-based editor. It makes new files, so we can composite things. So I, maybe I want to take this photo, and I don't know, I want to um, duplicate this layer, and uh, select a subject and uh, get AI to select them and then I work on them and I make the background a different color. I have to make a new file out of that. that that's destructive editing. We'll dive in to destructive editing, but suffice it to say, between develop, which works uh, like Adobe's Lightroom, where it's non-destructive editing, and a super powerful edit based layer, you've got like best of both worlds plus an amazing database. I'm just gonna discard the changes. We will do a deep dive into that. And let's finish off with people. My people is still just populating. I've just done an upgrade and it's going through a million pictures. I'm seeing how the AI is doing, but you can already see some of these pictures, some of these people popping up. Uh, it's finding them again and again. Here's an interesting one down here, uh, Sarah Jill. Sarah, Sarah's actually my wife. I have over 10,000 photos of her. I, and I love this because again, I don't think in database, I think in photographs. And so I might think of her obviously as a person. The AI has gone through and started to find her and it will take me to those photos. And so I can go through and you might, you know, if it's your kids, uh, in, in future, hopefully we'll have like dogs and stuff. It will take me through to that photo. It'll take me to the folders. It's a great way to manage a database that I otherwise wouldn't do because I, again, I don't think in database, I think in, in, in photographs. There we go. And it just took me through to that folder, which I might have a hard time uh, thinking about, or let's say I'd never put the right data in to find that. If I think in photos, I can find it. And I do that through people. That's our overview. From here, we're going to do a deep dive. In lesson number two, we're going to start right at the very basics, ingesting a card. You've just taken photos and you want to put it into ACDC for the first time.